Repair Clinic makes fixing things easy. With millions of replacement parts available on our website and the help you need to do the repair yourself. Since we encourage you to perform this repair safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. Before you replace the belt switch in your dryer, be sure to unplug the power cord. Use a 5 16th inch socket or nut driver to unthread the rear screws securing the top panel. Slide the top panel back and lift up to detach. Use a quarter inch socket or nut driver to unthread the control panel housing mounting screws. Disconnect the control panel wire connector from the main control board. Lift up the tabs to detach the housing. Disconnect the door switch wire connector. Next, lift up the front of the dryer and support it. Then use the quarter inch socket or nut driver to remove the four lower mounting screws securing the front panel. Remove the support and lower the appliance. Open the dryer door and use a Phillips head screwdriver to unthread the screws securing the front panel to the bulkhead. Using the quarter inch socket or nut driver, unthread the upper mounting screws. You can now lift the front panel up to detach it from the cabinet. Unthread the screws securing the control board support bracket. Use wire or string to secure the support. Next, remove the screws securing the front support brace. Detach the brace. Unthread the screw to release the lower support bracket. Remove the front bulkhead mounting screws. Disconnect the sensor wire connector. You can now remove the front bulkhead. Reach under the drum and unthread the belt from the pulley and motor shaft. You can use the belt to help lift out the drum. Lift the idler pulley arm up and use needle nose pliers to detach the spring. Disconnect the motor wire harness. Note the orientation of the two belt switch wires, then disconnect them. Use a small flathead screwdriver to depress the belt switch locking tabs then lift the old switch up to remove. Install the new belt switch by aligning it on the motor mount and snapping it into place. Connect the wires to the appropriate terminals. Connect the motor wire harness as well. Hook the large end of the idler pulley spring on the motor mount and the smaller end onto the pulley arm. Reinstall the drum by aligning the rear of the drum on the rollers. The rear of the drum has a larger bevel. Loop the belt on the pulley and motor shaft in a zigzag formation. Rotate the drum to help align the belt. 
Reposition the front bulkhead on the drum, then hook it onto the cabinet tabs. Reconnect the sensor wire connector and rethread the mounting screws to secure the bulkhead. Realign the lower support bracket and secure it with the screw. Reposition the front support brace. Rethread the screws. Align the control board support bracket and replace the screw. Reinstall the front panel by first feeding the door switch wire harness under the support brace. Then align the panel on the cabinet tabs. Rethread the upper mounting screws. Support the front of the dryer to replace the lower screws. Secure the two screws behind the door as well. Connect the door switch wire connector. Insert the control panel housing tabs into the slots in the front panel and snap the housing into place. Rethread the mounting screws. Connect the wire connector to the main control board. Realign the top panel and slide it into position. Secure the screws. With the repair completed, plug the power cord back in and your dryer should be ready for use. At Repair Clinic, we make fixing things easy. Thank you for supporting the production of these videos by purchasing your parts from our website.